The World Nuclear Industry Status Report is a yearly report that explores the global challenges facing the nuclear power industry. It is produced by Michael Schneider, an independent energy expert, and gives a detailed overview of the global nuclear industry and special analysis on key events and trends. Topic: 2017 Data Visualization Tool. In January a fully interactive visualization on nuclear power construction was launched. This contains information on the 754 reactors that are or have been under construction since 1951. The Global Nuclear Power Database is hosted by the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. <laughs> 2016 report As of the middle of 2016, 31 countries were operating nuclear reactors for energy purposes. Nuclear power plants generated 2,441 net terawatt-hours of electricity in 2015, a 1.3% increase, but still less than in 2008.2% below the historic peak nuclear generation in 2006. 59 reactors are considered here as under construction, three fewer than WNISR reported a year ago, and eight less than in mid-2014. 80% of all new build units are in Asia and Eastern Europe, of which 22 in China alone. <laughs> 2015 report Globally, the nuclear industry's situation continued to deteriorate in 2015, except in China. Eight out of the ten nuclear power reactor startups in 2015 were in China. Topic: 2013 report. The latest report, written by Michael Schneider and Anthony Froggatt with contributions of four other experts from Japan, the UK and France, says that the nuclear industry was struggling with grave problems prior to the Fukushima accident, but that the impact of the accident has become increasingly visible. Global electricity generation from nuclear plants dropped by a historic 7% in 2012, adding to the record drop of 4% in 2011. The 427 operating reactors worldwide, as of 1 July 2013, are 17 lower than the peak in 2002. The nuclear share in the world's power generation declined steadily from a historic peak of 17% in 1993 to about 10% in 2012. The report details a range of restart scenarios for Japan's nuclear reactor fleet which, as of September 2013, were all shut down. Nuclear power's share of global commercial primary energy production plunged to 4.5%, a level last seen in 1984. Besides an extensive update on nuclear economics, the report also includes an assessment of the major challenges at the Fukushima nuclear site, in particular the highly contaminated water on site. This water contained in the basement of reactors and in storage tanks contains 2.5 times the total amount of cesium-137 released at the Chernobyl accident. The report says that China, Germany and Japan, three of the world's four largest economies, as well as India, now generate more power from renewables than from nuclear power. For the first time in 2012 China and India generated more power from wind alone than from nuclear plants, while in China solar electricity generation grew by 400% in one year. <laughs> 2012 report According to the World Nuclear Industry Status Report 2012, written by Michael Schneider and Anthony Froggatt, nuclear power accounted for 11% of worldwide electricity generation. World atomic power production dropped by a record 4.3% in 2011 as the global financial crisis and the Fukushima disaster in Japan prompted plant shutdowns and slowed construction of new sites. Seven reactors began operating in 2011 and 19 were shuttered. The report shows that following the Fukushima crisis in March 2011, Germany, Switzerland, and Taiwan announced their withdrawal from nuclear power. 
Output was further restricted as nations suspended construction plans amid safety concerns and economic stagnation, forcing utilities to study extending lifetimes, which raises considerable safety issues. At least five countries, including Egypt, Italy, and Kuwait, have suspended plans to build their first nuclear reactors. In the UK, major companies like RWE, E.ON, and SSE have all abandoned new build proposals in 2011–12, while companies in Japan and Bulgaria have suspended construction. The Fukushima disaster also created certification and licensing delays. Topic: 2010–11 report. The World Nuclear Industry Status Report 2010–2011 is authored by Michael Schneider, Anthony Froggatt, and Steve Thomas and published by the Washington-based Worldwatch Institute. The foreword is written by Amory Lovins. According to the report, the international nuclear industry has been unable to stop the slow decline of nuclear energy. The world's reactor fleet is aging quickly and not enough new units are coming online. As of April 1, 2011, there were 437 nuclear reactors operating in the world, which was seven fewer than in 2002. The Olkiluatu plant has had particular problems. The flagship EPR project at Olkiluatu in Finland, managed by the largest nuclear builder in the world, Areva NP, has turned into a financial fiasco. The project is four years behind schedule and at least 90% over budget, reaching a total cost estimate of €5.7 billion, Euros .3 billion or close to €3,500 per kilowatt. The report says that the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster is exacerbating many of the problems that nuclear energy is facing. There is no obvious sign that the international nuclear industry could eventually turn empirically evident downward trend into a promising future", and the Fukushima nuclear disaster is likely to accelerate the decline. With long lead times of 10 years and more, it will be difficult to maintain, let alone increase, the number of operating nuclear power plants over the next 20 years. Moreover, says the report, it is clear that nuclear power development cannot keep up with the pace of renewable energy commercialization. For the first time, in 2010 total installed nuclear power capacity in the world 375 gigawatts fell behind aggregate installed capacity 381 gigawatts of three specific renewables wind turbines 193 gigawatts biomass and waste to energy plants 65 gigawatts and solar power 43 gigawatts topic 2009 report The World Nuclear Industry Status Report 2009 presents quantitative and qualitative information on the nuclear power plants in operation, under construction and in planning phases throughout the world. A detailed analysis of the economic performance of past and current nuclear projects is also given. The report was commissioned by the German Federal Ministry of Environment, Nature Conservation and Reactor Safety. Topic 2008 report. The World Nuclear Industry Status Report 2008 focused on the difficulties facing nuclear power throughout the world, with particular reference to Western Europe and Asia. Topic 2007 report. The World Nuclear Industry Status Report 2007 was commissioned by the Greens EFA Group in the European Parliament. Topic: <inaudible> Earlier reports. The first World Nuclear Industry Status Report was issued in 1992 in a joint publication with Wise Paris, Greenpeace International and the World Watch Institute Washington. The second report in 2004 was commissioned by the Greens EFA Group in the European Parliament. See also International Atomic Energy Agency Nuclear energy policy Nuclear renaissance Nuclear power in France Nuclear power in China